Actually, what happened, I met a person and interviewed a person that I had wanted to talk to for a very long time. And who was that person? Barbara Walters. And yes. here's the conversation. There's a woman who's had an extraordinary career as a correspondent. In the 12 years of her ABC TV Emmy Award winning The Barbara Walters Specials, she has interviewed almost every world leader and superstar. And tomorrow night, she celebrates her 50th special with a two hour look at her most unforgettable moments. And I am delighted to welcome today's end the renowned Miss Barbara Walters. Ah, what a lovely How, how about that? Thank Isn't that you. nice? Oh, am I glad I stayed up late? Well, now, <laughs> <laughs> I have seen probably all 50 of the specials. And Ad admired your work. You and my relatives. It's well, we've all <laughs> we've all watched them, but I have to know, um, with all your preparation, which you're known for, are you still nervous for no. the big ones? No, you know, when I'm I'm not nervous when I'm interviewing any. Well, no, I'm not nervous when I'm interviewing anybody. I'm nervous when I have to be interviewed. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous walking across. A stage, you know, if it's if it's a, a program where I have to come out and walk and sit down and talk, mm -hmm. like once in a while I'll do, you know, something where I'm talking about the specials. But n never when I'm interviewing anybody, I guess because then I'm in control. It's totally different from the way I am in real life. Uh -huh. Do you put on a, a Barbara Walters face or a mindset when you go in there? Or are you are you charged up? I think when I do the specials, I know that there's got to be a moment when you're interviewing, especially these the the big stars who, who've done so much. You know, there has to be a time when it goes, bing, when it all comes together. Sometimes I don't know it. Like you'll, in this special, uh, there is that moment when I asked Patrick Swayze about his father, and he started to cry. Right. Well, right. on the one hand, you want to say, you know, don't do that. And, but on the other hand, you know that something's happened. Uh, uh, my dad and my manager, Bob Lamont, the two most important men in my life are dead. And I made it after my father died. My passion. The, that I was going to make that man proud of me till I died. Who has shocked you over the years? Ben Crosby. Uh, wow. uh, well, um, and, and we, we showed this because we did try to pick not just the best, but the worst. I mean, some of the dumb things that I did, too. But Crosby, who is this lovable, easygoing guy, I mean, he is of my generation. I, you know, this, this was the, the world's nicest man, talked about his children then, and especially his daughter, and said that if any of them had a, uh, uh, an affair, if anyone, you know, before marriage, he would never talk to them again. Ever. And I remember the line was, a lower on the steel guitar. So he shocked me. I didn't expect mm. that from him. Suppose one of your sons came home and said, Dad, I've got this girl, and do you mind if, you know, we've been staying together, mm. we're living together, you mind if we share a room here in the house? In our house? Yeah. No chance. You know, it happens in other families. Well, it wouldn't happen in my family. I mean, if any one of them did that, I wouldn't speak to them ever again. I think the Shah of Iran, in the early days of the specials, we did do Heads of State, and the Shah of Iran saying that women were not fit to rule, and the expression on his wife's face and the tears in her eyes, and then she started to answer him back. I mean, there was that moment where you go, <gasps> What the man has done to the world, really? Have they achieved something that today the world is perfect in every way? Politically, economically, relations, contacts, progress. <clears throat> so let us not put, uh, you know, just classify people. Most of the time, I don't think we want to shock as much as we want people to, to feel they know them, to see their houses. I mean, we do almost all of these. In, in, you'll see the house that Cher uh, has now sold to Eddie Murphy. You'll see Eddie Murphy's original house, and then the new house that he bought, which is right near the house that Mike Tyson bought in New Jersey. And <laughs> well, see, we love that, though. We love to know, we love to see you walking through their gardens and, and, and looking at the kind of furniture that they have and all of that. We've never seen your home, though. How, how would you like someone to come into your home? And I wouldn't. You wouldn't. But um, you don't know this when you see the special, because you see me in different sections of something or other, and that is my house. That 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 is the house that my husband oh, and I oh. have in California. But I tried to do it so that you couldn't exactly tell. Now that I've said this, you will be able to tell. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't let anybody else in my house. You think I'm going to let a camera crew in my house? Am I crazy? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, there are favorite moments in that special that I, that I think are, are special. The uh, Patrick Swayze is one. Johnny Carson, I think, 
you opened him up more than than any of us have seen Johnny Carson in all the years he's been on the air. He doesn't usually allow interviews, and he doesn't allow people into his home. That was his house um, in Malibu. Waves uh, crashing in the background. Yeah, doesn't that look wonderful? Peaceful. <laughs> yeah. What was, yeah, it was really... I think... I guess if I have to think of the most memorable... I mean, I can think of the people that I love doing again and again, like Bette Midler and Eddie Murphy and Streisand. Because you enjoy them as people? Because yeah, and because whenever you go back, they're fresh uh, and you uh. share. You could do share, as we said, in the, you know, a dozen times. But I think my favorite was John Wayne because it's the last interview that he did. Bef the next day he went in the hospital and, and died and, and never came out. And he knew, I think. Occasionally, when there's a real oldie, like they had Wake of the Red Witch on the other night. I looked at, I don't know, until I fell asleep. I looked at on the late, late movie. That, uh, How'd you feel? Well, it's, it's kind of uh, irritating to see I was a good-looking 40-year-old man, and suddenly I can look over here and see this 71-year-old. You're not a bad-looking fellow. Well, you? yeah, but I'm, and I'm not squawking, but, you know, it's, uh, you kind of think, God, it was pretty wonderful then. <laughs> well, this is a, a show that, that everybody should see. Thank you. Wonderful show. Barbara Walters, thank you for joining us. I appreciate you having me on. Thank All right. you. 50th Barbara Walters special tomorrow night, 9 p.m. on ABC. And Days End will continue right after this. We're singing in the rain. Come Can you on. do a soft shoe? That's as far oh, as I go. Happy yeah.